The next item I'm going to show you is doing some masking. Now this is masking fluid and the way that I apply this is with a little bit of twig that's sharpened to a point. Just literally dip it into the masking fluid and then do whatever you want to mask out. Now if say I was doing some grasses I might use the masking fluid just to get a little bit of light into that grass. Um, if you wanted to make a, a window or you want to just get a block or something you can literally just dip that in with the stick and block it out and there you've got your area masked off. Now masking fluid needs to dry so we'll come back to this in a moment but always make sure as soon as you finish that you put the lid back on. If you spill that on your clothes there's no way it will come off. So it's very sticky, horrible stuff, but it will keep the paper white. So when that's all dry, we can paint over this and you get a nice um, area that you can rub off back to the white paper. Another thing that's good for resist is a candle. So just a bit of white candle. And this can be rather nice if you want to get the sparkle on the sea. You can just take it across the paper. It's quite good if your candle's a bit dirty like that because then you can see where it's gone. Or you might want to do some little lines and if you were doing patterns on a picture. Of course the thing is you never know where it's going when you do it. But the thing is with the candle, as soon as you put some colour on the top, you'll be able to see where it is. So you can take a wash over that and you can see how that's very effective like the white on the surface of the water with the sun shining on it. So this could be done in patches or you could just do a block of it. And then come down to the area where I did it with the drawing. You can see there how you get the effects of the lines with the candle. Just by putting different colours on you'll see how it will show up as well. So there's the candle effect. So you can use that on its side in the sea or if you want to draw lines with it. It's quite good as the edge of the waves coming onto the beach. And you can see how that takes effect. So going back to the masking fluid, always just feel it with your fingers and if it's not coming off, you can then paint over that. So if I just take a little bit of a wash over this bit here, you'll then see how it resists against where you've put the masking fluid. Um, I won't do that thick bit because that's not quite dry yet. And then in about five minutes time you look at your paint, you feel the paint and then you rub off the masking fluid with your fingers and then that will reveal a nice white area underneath.